Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh, thanks. Though I kind of want to stay in chat. I, 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 I kind of want to stay in chat. Okay, fine. Moving on. Where am I going? Up? This is a lot of stairs, you know. Hello, Professor. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. You have? Whoa. Here you are. It's a book? Oh, it's a broken book. Uh, all the pages flew out. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. Lead on, Professor. There's a chest here. Do you mind if I just get this chest, though, really quickly? Never mind, I, I can't do anything. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. That would be great. Oh, the, the snake hides the door. Oh, okay. To practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. This guy on a Kelpie? Revelio. Okay, straight to the point. It's a Kelpie statue. Oh, I was right. Huh. I did it. Well now. Clever, isn't it? It Keep is. Keep your actually. eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Is the door gonna pop up because I'm near it now? <laughs> ah, that's never gonna get old! <laughs> Sorry. What? Oh, it's cold. Come on. So where exactly are we going now, Professor? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Did we just... You can get almost wow. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. That's handy, Professor. That's really handy. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh, brilliant. Can you tell me more about the Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. 
I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. And what about the Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. I kind of really want to do go to the Defense Against the Dark Arts class first. <laughs> Is it optional that I can go to them first? Uh, anyway, well, you mentioned Hogsmeade. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. You mentioned butterbeer? I can have butterbeer. Oh, you do me okay, right. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Just Happily, a bit. Your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. Wait, you'll you're be up me to more speed homework? in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. Oh, he showed me he a little did, bit more than the basics. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search uh -oh. for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Oh, she knows. Um, actually, there isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Shit. Speak of the devil. Hey, Professor he's Fig. not a devil. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. Uh. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Yeah, that. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. I will, It'll Professor. Be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. She's nice. I kind of... It's... <sighs> You're killing me with having to lie to a professor, especially one like her, though, to be honest. She seemed to accept it, but she seems to know. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yep. You certainly did. But I didn't quite like to lie to her, Professor. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Yeah, I don't Understood, trust that professor. One. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. 
Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, let's have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Thanks, Professor. I can put on now. Oh, yes. Ah. Guidebook, show me thy way. This place is big. Just a little bit big, but still cool. Okay, uh, where... Okay. I've got a lot to get used to. That's not going to be easy. Those are eyes that are looking at me. Okay. Uh, uh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. She's cool. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> you got One told! One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All the spells, give me all of them. I'm gonna need them. Fairly simple. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh, she's moving the table. Okay, she wants me to... Okay, yep, 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 yep. We can do this. Totally put me on the stage front. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember... A surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. <laughs> that was still funny. Let me Good. Now, the basic card. Well done. Oh, and it flopped. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. 
Duelist, take Hi, Sebastian. Marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Go easy on me, Sebastian, yeah? I did say I would go easy on you, though. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. All of my students for this adept. I do join my future. Sorry, Sebastian. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I think he likes me. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'm starting to like all of the professors. If all of the professors are like her and Miss Professor Weasley, I'm going to be absolutely in heaven. Nice work. Thanks. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Uh. Then again. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, I've had my fair share of one combat. <laughs> I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. You have me intrigued. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Until next time, Sebastian. Unsanctioned jewels? Yes, please. Right, what's next? Charms class? If each of them give me more spells, I'm going to be happy. Like, really happy. That is if I don't get lost. This place is huge. Like, really huge. Oh, there's that flu powder stuff. Handy resource there we go. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. You're welcome, I think. Why did it sound like someone was screaming? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> is she she's wielding an axe! <laughs> I don't want to know what that ghost did. That is a cat. <laughs> Hello, little thing. Aren't you adorable? Oh, you're adorable. Okay. Moving on from, hopefully, more interesting ghosts. Hopefully. I can't believe that ghost was wielding an axe and just running around with it like that. It's too funny. Uh, ah, in here. Hi, Sebastian. 
Oh, that looked like Sebastian. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Oh, hi! Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Is right. it energetic now, one, everyone, me? please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Uh, Anyone? Anyone? Thanks, Nutty. Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Uh, mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Uh... Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get How many place, books does now. she have? Hold on tight, Natty. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Happily. <laughs> what have I got to do? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones. Very good. Ah, don't fall off. It's just teetering on the edge. I think I did it. Or is it just... Do I have to get them all? Splendid! Oh, they're all gonna teeter on the edge. Excellent control there. Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. They should be green, but okay. Natty first. 
Oh, this is gonna be tough. Oh, too much! Gets. Oh, that's not fair. Yes. Can I knock hers off? Oh, too soon. Very good. Let us see. Well, I've lost, but I'm going to see if I can knock hers off anyway. Oh no, didn't work. <laughs> Too soon. Nicely done. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh no, what have you done? Don't move! Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Yeah, I'm with Natty on that point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Ooh. Okay. Phew. <laughs> That's it. Your turn, Nazi. Oh, you just barely missed the block as well. That is how it's done. Not unless I get another fifty, then you're doomed, woman. Oh, I, can I time this well enough? Probably not. Oh, that's too hard. Happens to the best of us. Here we go. Not fair. Well, it is. Very good. But still, if I could just land this on the fifty, that'd be great. Yes. One all. One all, Natty. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thanks, Natty. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. How big is Wagadu? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. If it was bigger than Hogwarts, oh, that must mean it has a lot more stairs. What does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. Wow. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Oh, why can't I, I have gone there? I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It sounds magical. Is 
magic the same at Wagadu? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. What? That's incredible! You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Thanks, Natty, for telling me about Wagadu. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until Thanks, Natty. Next time. He's course, nice. You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. A word if you Is he would. trying to use. Why is this one glowing very. Like, uh, many questions. Hi. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. More homework. So much bloody oh, homework. You're Hi. You're a student, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I mean, there wasn't that much of a challenge, though. Yeah, it wasn't that much of a challenge. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. That was a short chat, but thanks. Ugh. I'm running away from him before he makes something explode on my feet. Ooh, can I? That is mine. Perfect. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah, probably. And by the end of it, the minister for